Hello, hi, welcome, welcome back. My name's Elmo, if you're new here, what's up? Today, today we're doing a summer check-in because it's officially summer. A little recap from last time. I picked up The Time Machine by H.G. Wells in that video the day before. I was like, I'll read it because it's short, right? The page count is short. The print is ridiculous. Haven't picked it up since. Don't plan on picking it up for a while. Also, a big note, I was really concerned that I would be behind for my reading goal and that I wouldn't manage it for the year. Dude, dude, I've read 11 books this year already. I read 11 books before June started. I've passed my goal. I've surpassed my goal. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about that. That's decent. Good job, <laughs> I've written in my notes. Anyway, reading progress. Since we last spoke, I have read All Systems Read, by Martha Wells. Fun book. I've got the second one in the series on hold at my library, so that should be coming in soon and then I can read that. I read Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. I did mention this before and I'm rescinding what I said about Jennifer Saint and Madeline Miller. Jennifer Saint writes, I don't know if it's necessarily lyrical, it's still complex and it's still kind of, you know, a challenge, but it's very imagistic, very evocative, which I really liked at the start of the book. The characters at the start of the book were nice. The plot at the start of the book was interesting and the more I read the more I began to hate it and I think Madeline Miller is back at the top for me. Sorry Madeline I should have trusted you. It was a it was an all right book Ariadne. Three stars. Like I didn't regret reading it but I'm never gonna read it again you know. Anyway I read Station Eleven by Emily St John Mandel. Life changing. Life changing. I read Killer Come Back to Me by Ray Bradbury. I have a bunch of Bradbury on my shelf, as you know, that I'm yet to read. That's got me excited. Killer Come Back to Me has got me excited for the rest. Strong Female Character by Fern Brady is one I've read and I've recommended to numerous people. And then all the books that I read for my Abandoned Books video, so Asamu Desai, No Longer Human, This Fragile Earth by Susanna Wise, and Brave New World by Aldous Huxley. There's a lot of books. Reading Hopes at the minute, so I'm currently reading Yellow Face and I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't. The whole premise of yellow face, which didn't even occur to me until I started reading it. Yellow face as in black face, as in pretending to be a race that you're not. And the protagonist is white and they're making edits to this story that you just know as a reader are not things that the actual writer would have agreed to. And I'm like, oh my god, God, oh my God. I'm I'm trusting the process. I'm kind of desperate for them to get caught out by the end, but I don't know if they will. We'll see. Yellow face, it's, a, it's an interesting read. As a writer who wants to get into publishing, insightful for sure. And as a decent human being, good God. I don't know if you've heard. Have you heard? Have you heard the news? Suzanne Collins is writing a fifth Hunger Games book. She announced there's gonna be a fifth as a second prequel, prequel sequel releasing next year and it would be great if I could read all of them before that releases, so I can read that. I think that's the best way to describe it, right? A prequel sequel. It's after the prequel, but it's a prequel to the trilogy. Anyway, more confusing than Star Wars, I'll give it that. We've got a new books in, so get that tally up, add one to the counter. I bought some more books. It was my birthday. I don't know about you, but I'm sure as hell feeling 22. I know what you mean, Taylor. Now, many years later, I know what you mean. I bought more books in anticipation of that date. So now I have The Book Thief. Yellowface was one of the ones I bought and The Glutton by A.K. Blakemore. So yeah, Time Traveler's Wife, Book Thief, Yellowface, Catching Fire, and then just anything else that I can be asked to read. The only other news I have is writing news. So for those of you who don't know, when I'm not reading and doing whatever the hell else I do every day, I write or try to write or do something in the realm of writing. I applied to a work experience thing this summer, didn't get it. But you know, there's another one in however many months time, so maybe we can do that. And it'll only be a year after I've graduated. So it's, it's totally not a problem, totally not stressing me out every second of every day. I wrote in my notes, I'm in that transition phase most people in their 20s go through where I'm doing everything and nothing at the same time. Hitting the nail on the head. Anyway, that's where we are. So that's, that's 
that's life at the minute. I do have a couple writing projects that I really hope I can make progress on. And if I don't, then that'll suck. So that's that pretty much. Also, I'm going to do a quick shout out right now because why not? The Ellen Made Book Club. Go subscribe to her. Follow her and like her videos and give her comments. There are a couple books for July and August that I'm planning to read as book club reads. I think I'm finally going to read 1984. And there was another book that I also have. Where is it? As soon as I see the spine, I'll be like, oh yeah, that one. Is it Song of Achilles? It's probably Song of Achilles. There's just so many books that are on my periphery. That I'm like, oh, I'll totally read that. And then going page for page takes a lot longer than I expect, but it's gonna happen. It will happen eventually. There's no avoiding it. I own them. I have to read them. That's the point. And I think that's pretty much it because nothing else is really going on in my life right now. I'll see you when I see ya. See ya. Maybe pull the notes up before you start recording, my friend. I had like vowed to myself when I did this that I would face this way. And then I've just been looking at my laptop screen for half the time. So you can see, never mind.